Thanks. Detecting cancer with no x-rays, no needle pokes, no surgery, just spit. Check out the amazing discoveries being made by a local research pioneer. The mouth is a window to our body. It's something dentists have been saying for years. Now dental researchers have evidence. Every disease will reflect itself in saliva. Here we are. For almost 10 years, Dr. David Wong and his team at the UCLA School of Dentistry have been collecting saliva, searching it for disease markers. This is where we keep all of our uh, clinical samples here. Saliva samples containing dozens of diseases from all over the world. The saliva from women with breast cancer and we have uh, Puerto Rico diabetics. More than 5,000 samples in all, providing a wealth of information about the science of spit. This non-invasive fluid that, that we take it for granted is, is, is endowed with this biological information that could be very forecasting. In everyone's saliva. That are telltale molecules of diseases. Already, Dr. Wong and his team can search a sample and find breast cancer, oral cancer, lung cancer, as well as pancreatic cancer. He's now convinced saliva biomarkers is as credible as any markers out there for detecting any clinical disease. In one lab, an industrial biomarker reader like this one analyzes saliva and spits out the stats. In another lab, researchers are working on a smaller prototype to give doctors and dentists immediate answers. You just put it in your mouth and uh, absorb the saliva, then transfer it into the test cartridge, and uh, within 10 minutes, you will get results on the screen. Dr. Wong says widespread trials are next. He's hoping for FDA approval in three to five years. When is it due? When is it due? Uh, Initially, saliva testing would likely be used as a second-line screening tool. Say you have a suspicious mammogram. Instead of going straight for a biopsy, you'd get the swab. If that can't find cancer, Dr. Wong says you might be able to skip further testing. You would be able to spare half of these individuals going through an invasive procedure. And what everybody's wondering, could saliva testing someday eliminate the need for mammograms or CAT scans or other cancer screening tests in the first place? It's the holy grail. It's the final goal. But we need to take this in a stepwise fashion. The National Institutes of Health has taken an interest in salivary diagnostics and has given Dr. Wong's lab a multi-million dollar grant to further their research. So, got a lot of work to do yeah. and the money to do it. But it's encouraging. Yeah. How does it